All right. Uh, can you hear me? I hope. Okay. Thank you. I'm really glad you are here because um, I learned uh, in Australia it's in the evening and here in Germany it's in the early morning. So, yeah, time difference. Um, yes, this is about being a voice for change. You heard very much about the mind and yeah, now it's way for the voice. Um, Pimela was so uh, kind to introduce myself. Um, and I first what would like to do with you a short meditation that will connect us with the idea of voice, rhythm, rhymes. And um, I will also introduce here in this session what Dharma Rap is about. And hopefully uh, we will wrap together at the end. I don't know <laughs> if this is possible uh, on Zoom. We just have to, to look. Um, yeah, my name is Jumper or my reference name is DJ Jumper Sausage. And Sausage uh, is really awful, but my family name in German is Wurst and this is Sausage in English. So I can't help, but I'm vegetarian <laughs> and I try to be vegan. <laughs> okay, um, for the meditation, please. Let's find a posture that is comfortable for you. I don't care if you sit or walk or even lie, uh, if it's on the floor, bed, or in your hammock, that is up to your condition, uh, as you like. Um, and it's not, need, there's no need to, to be perfect in the lotus seat or something. We are on the path. <laughs> so. Focus on your breath and lower your gaze a little bit, but don't close your eyes. Because um, I don't want you to sleep. It's evening for you. I want you to be focused. During my field work among Tibetan Buddhist nunneries in exile in India, we were forbidden to close our eyes because especially the small kids who were uh, already in the nunnery, they could feel asleep perfectly sitting in lotus posture. And then they were woken up by spreading water in their faces. And that's difficult for me doing via Zoom. So yeah, stay focused. Um, when you breathe in, I would like you to count until four. One, two, three, four. And it's possible when you breathe out to six or maybe eight when you breathe out. Um, and breathe especially into your belly, so you can take space and also broaden your lungs so that more oxygen will come. And this is good for your brains. And breathing out a little longer makes it possible to release carbon dioxide and get more oxygen into your cells again. And now I would also like you to swing and sway slowly by breathing in the rhythm you like. From the left to the right, from the right to the left. That is what you often see in Tibetan nunneries or monasteries when they 
memorize or when they recite their sadhanas. And it helps really to memorize texts of the sadhanas by heart, by your own rhythm. And somehow it also makes you feel hot by yourself. It's just that you feel yourself more by this movement. And also always enjoy breathing and swaying. That means smile, smile at the world and at yourself. Because having a smiling face is relaxing for yourself, for your body. So breathe in, two, three, four, and out, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, and swing, sway in. And in. And out, two, three, five, six, seven. Okay, now slowly come back, flatter your eyes. Stretch your body, arms, hands, wiggle your fingers and legs, uh, fingers and toes. <laughs> yeah, and come back. Oh, sorry, and I need something to drink for my voice. <laughs> oh. <clears throat> yes. Let's come to the founding or invention of Dharma Rep and its chance to become people engaged and a voice for change. As Pamela already said, I'm a freelancer since uh, 2001 with an uh, own practice. And I always use Rep or rhymes uh, to make it easier for people to come in touch uh, and to rem remember things better in this easy, rhythmic, playful way. Um, and it doesn't, uh, or it, it, yeah, it doesn't, is any problem if it's with the young ones, with students, or even with elder people. I all uh, also do this uh, with seniors um, when I uh, am in, in small groups of, of elders and they love it and, and they really go into it. Yeah, I really, I'm a coach um, and often the young ones come to me or are sent to me um, with the badge of high IQ, but they don't have any fun at school or at the university. And with this fun and also with games, I invent by my own um, and with playing music um, and doing this form of conscious rap about social issues education, ethics, politics. So no gangster rap at all. They become engaged. 
it's interesting that uh, especially teenagers um, in this well-known form of uh, speech songs that they uh, know, um, they often feel the first time understood by these often critical or also funny texts. Dharma can really be a helpful means to become engaged. <clears throat> Sorry. I, it's no COVID, it's only, uh, yeah, <clears throat> a little cough. Um, they, they, these students, they, they become willing to learn after being so bored. And also people at their jobs, they say, oh, that's a way I can, I can get, get, uh, get along again with my job or whatever distracted me. And yes, I had this idea for an international um, queer Buddhist conference um, and it was uh, done last year. Uh, if you like, you can go on iqbc.org to have a look. And this year is the 2nd and October 22-23, if you like. If people are bullied, kicked out of their jobs or of their families, then Dharma Rap is also a means to making people alert for human or queer rights, for diversity, for equality, and so become a voice for change. But we also can think um, about climate catastrophe, which is a which is the topic, I think, for this globe, for pandemic, for hunger, and much, much more. Yeah. <laughs> How was it created for this, this Satya Dita conference that Pamela also, uh, already mentioned? The examples he, uh, I provided uh, here for you will explain how we can use it and um, yeah, for a better world, a, a more mindful world with ethics, with compassion, wisdom, respect for others, for all sentient beings. And this by using rhymes, oh, that's, that's a little, little bit strange maybe for you, but let's become engaged. Dharma rap. As I understand it, well, I did that. And later I was called founder uh, <laughs> of Dharma Rep. I did that for the 10th Sakyadita International Conference on Buddhist Women in Ulaanbaatar, um, Mongolia in 2008. The title of the first Dharma Rep is called Engagement. And I did this. Not because I, I thought I, I have to do that. I was supposed to, uh, to make a talk. But also, like here, in the late afternoon, after a really tight schedule from the early morning with one talk after the other, then one workshop after the other, and I'm on the end. And because of the climate, that were uh, that people were not adjusted at all. At the height uh, in Mongolia, uh, the people already got dizzy and were almost asleep. And I wanted them to listen, so I got up from my chair, put my wrapper cap on, and began. I'll tell you something about education. It's something that won't work without motivation. So tell me, what's your consideration? What do you think about the young generation? Engagement is what you need. Engagement, and you will succeed. Engagement is what you need. Engagement, that's all we need. 
Compassion should be your attitude. Empathy and wisdom, yo, that's good. R-E-S-P-E-C-T, respect for you, respect for me. I to I must be the relation. Then you get an engaged generation. Engagement is what you need. Engagement and you'll succeed. Engagement is what we need. Engagement, that's all we need. Engagement is important for young and old. If there is none, life becomes cold. Let's become partners. Whether you're young or old, become engaged or life becomes cold. Engagement is what you need. Engagement and you'll succeed. Engagement is what you need. Engagement, that's all we need. Yeah. After that, people thought that... <laughs> People thought that was my talk and they uh, were like, oh, wow. Um, and they, they uh, woke up and uh, then I said, okay, now I can do my talk about uh, engaging the, the younger generation. Um, you see, uh, oh, now, now I lost all my papers. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, one moment, please. Um, well, I, I yeah. Um, after that, I was forced to do a workshop about Buddhism and pop culture, and so I please ask uh, Pemala, who is uh, my protector here in this session, uh, <laughs> to open the screen and uh, give the slide with the first um, uh, picture. Yes. Um, and in this workshop. Uh, we had uh, 13 people for, from very different countries all over the world. And that was very interesting for me because um, two of them were Theravada nuns living in Nepal. And they said, uh, well, we are not allowed to do music just for fun like you, but we thought that we could do the baseline just reciting. And that is what we are doing. And that is also the link, as I said, because it's also in rhymes. Every sadhana is in rhymes. And they had a text uh, in Navari. Navari is a Nepalese uh, dialect, I was told. Um, and it was about how to become uh, a Buddha. So how to be on the path and get this goal. And they translated it uh, for us into English. And we others, we made rhymes uh, out of that. Most uh, of the time, two lines. And then jumped in, as you can see here. Uh, <laughs> And uh, I think people had fun and we were allowed at the end of this conference uh, to do it uh, yeah, somehow on stage. So for, for the whole conference, yeah. Um, and this became, <coughs> I'm sorry, this became a, a tradition between 2008 and 2019. So until uh, the pandemic, on these conferences. But I also use this, uh, as I mentioned before, on workshops at my practice and in schools. Um, so I would like uh, Pimala to uh, give number two um, of these pictures. I'm doing it, sorry. Yeah, leave your time. <laughs> yes. Uh, <laughs> uh, I, I uh, changed my clothes or wear uh, some weird things. 
just to make my students uh, be focused. Otherwise, you don't get the one or the other focus. But when they see such a person, they think, oh, what's that? And uh, then they listen. Uh, and that, uh, wear t-shirts, uh, this is with a German um, quote, um, to make them read. So really to become them engaged and change their mind. And please number three of the pictures. Yes, um, here this is in a school and uh, due to European data protection law, um, I had to uh, yeah, make like a shadow uh, uh, to, um, over, over the students because they are very young ones, they, they were in a primary school they did uh, arrive with me for the first time and they did that very beautiful um, uh, for um, asking people for money to, um, uh, to give this money to a home for, um, for animals or animal shelter. I don't know if it's a home for animals or animal shelter. I'm not a native speaker, sorry. But they are really, uh, they were really engaged. Yeah. Um, on the 11th Sagadida International Conference on Buddhist Women in Ho Chi Minh City, Vietnam, I was encouraged by Jason Martensen Palmo, who was yesterday there, um, former president of Sagadida International, to do my Dharma rap uh, I created for them eminent Buddhist women on stage in front of, uh, due to Vietnamese newsletters, about six to 8,000 participants from 45 countries. What was difficult because some of the lines were about happy and gay. Well, I'm not a native speaker. I don't know what I'm speaking of. So I can say happy and gay. Um, please, this number five. Photo number five. Sorry, do you mean number four? We haven't seen four nope. yet. You mean five? And four, I'm sorry, yes. Thank oh, thank you. Well, I never was good in mathematics. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> that one? Yes, great. Thank you. You're really a protector. <laughs> Yeah, um, and I, I, I was so, um, yeah, so, so nervous. I, I had this, this um, text before me and I was really trembling because of this many, many people. I, I, I thought, oh my God, I, it will never happen. But yeah, it, and it happened and um, well, uh, I, I tell you later. What Tenzin Palmo didn't know, I already had performed even this uh, um, rap in the workshop I was allowed to do about diversity. I only was allowed to, um, to uh, use this name on this difficult conference in Vietnam. The military dictatorship uh, and the Hmong Sangha hadn't allowed a panel or a workshop uh, about 2S LGBTQIA plus or queer. But hey, everything is diverse. So, but um, it was very difficult because the military police always were, was around on the conference with machine guns watching us. But I did what I did and I did a rap. Um, 
Yes, now you can put number five. In this workshop, there were only a handful of Westerners. They knew what I meant with diversity, so to as LGBTQIA+. But uh, 50, 50 nuns of two Vietnamese nunneries with their abbesses and a translator. And she asked me after the workshop to, uh, to come. Um, and I thought, <laughs> now I will be brought into jail and I will never come out because it's forbidden to talk about uh, being gay. But the two abbesses, uh, the two ones who laughed uh, here uh, in, yeah, uh, but, uh, on, on the left, uh, the um, translator is behind them. Um, they asked me um, <laughs> to give them the English text, not to bring me into jail, but uh, to, to get to get it translated. Because they said with this funny, playful way, they could speak about everything, also about sexuality and also about being lesbian and being a nun. And this is the same about uh, being uh, in a monastery and being gay. It's, it's not possible in Vietnam. And so they had a means to, to, to speak and discuss and have fun and not uh, be threatened somehow. And this text is so, well, it's only four lines. It was living in diversity, but sisters and friends, eminent Buddhist women are on that conference, ordained or lay, hetero or gay, Go on the Buddha's path, that's our common way. But they were so focused that they, everyone heard, heard these, these lines. So, yeah, and these four lines, they, it changed their lives. And it's interesting that meanwhile, um, the uh, Korean nuns who, uh, also were uh, on many uh, conferences um, um, uh, on those Sakyadida uh, conferences. They meanwhile perform rap often with the Heart Sutra. Um, I will see if I could put the link, yes, uh, in the chat. So there you can uh, see um, maybe or, or um, yeah, uh, here then, um, reciting the Heart Sutra, but in a rap form. Um, yeah, now number six, please. Oh, yeah, uh, that, oh, that is India. Um, the coldest winter in India um, uh, was that. And uh, it's with waste paper basket and drop sticks as uh, drums. So um, that also works. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah. Um, but now number seven. Uh, and if, if you, uh, Pemala, if you can do that seven, eight, nine, ten, uh, slowly, so that people can watch. And then uh, it's a series uh, of the same conference. Um, these are additional photos uh, from the conference in Indonesia. Um, and, um, oh. Wait, I forgot something. 
Well, I can do that later. No, um, I, I do that. Do you want me to go back, Jampala? Uh, I can go no, no, back. No, no, uh, no, no. Okay. Uh, 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 Show, show these um, uh, people. Th this was interesting in Indonesia. In Indonesia, wh which is a, um, a Muslim country, uh, or may, yeah, may, most people are Muslims, they came on this conference. <laughs> and especially the women, they were so happy about these, um, uh, yeah, about the Dharma Rap workshop that finally I had to do every day on this week um, to Dharma Rep with, with different uh, groups. Uh, and the Indonesian uh, women um, uh, came and they had fun and, and they, they, they did their own in, in English and in uh, Bahasa Indonesia. Uh, it, it, was, it was really amazing uh, what happened. Um, And it's also the yeah it's it's so interesting that they that they try to to speak about what they experienced and you see they 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 wrote their lines uh, and then <laughs> well maybe you can also find them uh, these videos they um, um, loaded up uh, in the in internet. Um, most of the time, the internet doesn't uh, forget anything. Uh, uh, I think it's also on Facebook. It's, uh, it's really interesting what they did. Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah, well, although they had uh, um, papers with extra reps. So they, they really, um, uh, there, there was one who, who spoke their, their lines, their rhymes, and then so, somebody else came and we had one chorus that linked everything. And so different people again could jump in and if they liked, they could speak out. Okay, and the loss, I think. Okay. Um, yes, <coughs> I'm really sorry for this cough. Um, yeah, uh, okay, she, she was very smart. She put her lines on the smartphone. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and you see, uh, the people had so much fun. They were laughing because they, if you see them most of the time with their scarves, they, they behave very, very modest, very, yeah, um, very careful um, with, uh, with, with, uh, um, they don't speak out. They are not used to speak. And, and during this week, it was like, well, we, we had uh, we, we had flash mobs. Um, we, <laughs> the, again, the program was so tight that this time we we couldn't go on the stage, and so these uh, participants uh, of uh, these workshops, the, at least there were eleven Dharma rep workshops in this week. You, uh, in addition to other workshops, I did, did and <laughs> they they said, hey, let's go. Let's go uh, before um, this room where they serve the meal. And so they have to listen to us. And that it is what it is about. That make people to listen what you have to say. That's changing their mind. Okay. So I would like to do a very new um, rap just to, to show you that you also can talk about what is meditation. Um, and uh, my uh, a former student of me, uh, he's uh, playing electric, uh, electric guitar and he often accompanies me um, because he also has fun. And um, 
I only have the the freestyle version now because he's not here. <laughs> yeah, it's breathing in, breathing out. Take a deep breath. Okay, it's done. Yo, that's good. So take another one. Yo, I see. That is much fun. I think I'll do again another one. Take a deep breath. Let's wrap together. Take another one. You feel much better. Nice. Gorgeous. What a relief. I can breathe again. I didn't know when it will be and when. But what a relief. I am breathing now. I take this deep breath and it's beautiful. Wow. I'm breathing in. I'm breathing out. I don't do it quietly. I do it aloud. I do it with sound. I do it with fun. I'm breathing. When I walk or run, I breathe when I stand. I breathe when I sit. When I chill in my hammock, that's such a hit. I meditate, focusing on my breath. I breathe like Darth Vader on the dark star of death. I'm breathing in. I'm breathing out. That's always a rebirth, so check it out. Breathe. You. Okay, you see, you can really make very different things, quick, <laughs> quick things or slow things. Um, and you saw these Muslim women in Indonesia, with, uh, how they got their voice speaking about equality by doing Dharma Red. You saw the Vietnamese, they got uh, the voice to speak about sexuality and diversity. And my students in school, um, they could speak about climate change and about supporting animal shelters or homes. So um, now, I, if, it, if it's possible, my breakout rooms, uh, I would like you to do your own lines. Um, maybe two or four lines about a, a topic that is for you important, how you can change the world maybe, uh, making a, others alert for that topic, said, though that you will get interconnected with others and together you or we can be a voice and many, powerful voices for change so um if possible two or three people actually unfortunately we don't have the breakout function no oh, yeah I'm it's so not sorry. it's disabled oh. i don't know why i've tried to been trying to fix it while you've been talking but i haven't been able to okay so so there yeah. is something that we could do though we could get people to um it would just be a bigger group and we could get them yeah. to write into the chat some lines yep. and adapt each other's lines does that or, or would that or, work um raise the hand uh and say hey i want to speak out yep go ahead so you can either write some what do we have a theme or is just just anything we want to write about i thought we, we have different people we have individual ideas so everyone can do what she, they, or he uh, wants to do. Okay. So people can pop their hands up if they'd like to chuck a line out and or can put it in the chat. I'm going to, I'm going to mute myself and I'm going to think. <laughs> I do it by hand. I'm sorry. <laughs>
Jump a light. Do you want to get people to do their wraps or would you like to do their wraps? I'm, I'm sorry, I, I, I was reading it. I'm, I'm really excited. Um, if, if people would like uh, to, to uh, give a, um, yeah, a performance, I, I would be really happy. But only if you like, I don't want to force you. I, I thought nobody would uh, would like to, and so I, I just wrote. But uh, it's much better when you when you, uh, yeah, when you do it. Thank you. So so gorgeous. We got some good ones there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um. May, may, may I may, may I add, add uh, a sentence, uh, uh, Pimala? Do as you um, please. You're in charge uh, here. You're the boss. Well, yeah, no, 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 no. Uh, you, you are the one. Uh, but but um, uh, I, I, I uh, organized this IQBC with uh, the International Equipoise Conference, and uh, it will be on Zoom. But especially for this um, possibility to to rap or sing or make music together. Um, we provide a space on Gather Town for the conference where we arrange uh, an open mic. So then it's possible to do really a song or a rap together in the same moment. And um, so if you like, uh, so, sorry, I <laughs> that I make adver advertisement for this conference. No, 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 it's a great <laughs> conference. I think it's good. <laughs> yeah, you you don't have to be um, queer or twelve LGBTQI plus. If you are an ally, if if you are open and, and say, hey, uh, I would just like to support um, and um, and it's free. Uh, well, we we are happy for donations, but it's free, and you you just can. That's, We've got some um, really good ones in there. It's interesting. You can almost you can hear people's regional accents in their in their rhymes. <laughs> That's so cool. It's very cool. So I don't think anyone's brave enough to perform Jumpala. So I think you need to pick one or two and perform them for us. I'm taking okay. charge. But but I don't know if 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 I will do it as they thought uh, it's to be spoken. So. It's your rendition though. You don't have to. Oh, uh, I think there's so good, so so many good ones. Is it? Is may, may I ask? Um, uh, I know it's all your reps, but is it is it possible um, to 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 copy them or to, to yeah I can to, say to, to make it available for 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 for, for the, our event uh, you uh, your event uh, Pamela because th that is really great what you are doing. Yeah, the chat gets know. the chat gets saved. Yeah, oh, that's cool. But because I I didn't know that that it's possible via Zoom uh, to get people engaged. Thank you. You really make me happy. <laughs> um, <laughs> that's, that's what we're here for. <laughs> um, so Leonie, who I think is that Leonie from is that Leonie mm. is that Leonie who is that our Leonie? That's your Leonie. Our Leonie. So she's <laughs> saying she would like you to do her rap if you want to. Yeah. I've just read um, sibling huh? Yonten Punsok. I can't read the rest of her name there. That one's really good too. Where where is it? They're all in the chat. Jump oh, yeah. So Leonie's oh, oh, here, one yeah. is the one on. Um, some look like a finger and some a thumb. I think that's pretty cute. <laughs> there are so many. I, I'm I'm now a little bit confused. I, I, I'm so. I'll cut. I'll copy and paste it. Yeah, into please. the whiteboard. Uh, Should I do that? I'm, yeah, I, I'm just too too overwhelmed. I'm. <laughs> can you all see the whiteboard? Yeah. Oh. Well, I can. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, something's going really kind of weird here. We can, I, this no problem. Oh, I don't think it's working. Sorry, folks. Yes, um, yes, 
It's working. I can see it with words on it. You can see words on it? I can't see words on it. You can't see any words on it? Um, no, it's blank. Maybe, you, maybe, Pamela, you have to copy and paste it first uh, on a, on a oh, file yeah, yeah, and yeah. Then load it up. I shall do that. <laughs> okay, here we go. Yes. So can you, can you, you can't, oh. can you see the um, whiteboard yet? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, but the, the, the print is, oh, I don't, I've only got half, half the print, but that's okay. Half the print. Yeah. No, it's just, I'm using the phone, so it's. Oh, not, right. Yeah. Yeah. That's okay. Don't worry. I'm fine. Hi, Annette. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> All the gang's here. <laughs> Yeah. It's clear yeah. to me that we are all one song, look like a finger and some a thumb, but we all hang off the very same palm. And just above that, we all, oh, oh it's moving. Uh, we all share the arm. Yo, embrace the one. Wow, that's cool. So I put it into the lines because it, it came in kind of yeah. funny. So each line cool. is... um. Yep. You know what I mean? And I'll stretch this out. But that probably mean that Annette miss, loses a whole bunch of stuff. No, I'm reading from the chat, so that's okay. There you go. That's what it's supposed to look like, Jumpala. Uh, um, oh, hang on. In, uh, 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 may I read uh, one? Um, uh, it's yep, go also ahead. in the chat. Instead of passing judgments, we need to pass laws. On climate and discrimination, we need to press pause. We can do much better. Our system can serve all. Our wisdom and compassion can save us all a fall. <laughs> That's a good one. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's so great. So I will share all of these with you, Jampala, after we've closed down. If anyone but, doesn't uh, want we, them, we yes, we have we have to ask the people yeah, if they're saying. copyright. If I'm you don't sorry. want them to be shared, let us know in the chat now. Does that make sense? If it's you the, don't want them shared, let us know in the chat now. Well, that's me. Uh, well, it looks like everyone's okay with them being shared. Yeah. You see, I, I, I was so scared that I really wrote some some lines down because I thought no nobody will do uh... You haven't hung out with us enough, Champala. Oh, it's it's <laughs> so, so great. Got so many. <laughs> you caught it from me I got it from thee let's get it straight at last this pandemic is not a blast but a masterclass in connectedness yes <laughs> cool <laughs> Uh, That's I, I always try to get out the the the, the rhythm so um so i have to to try but well um if well if if you if you come to the iqbc um maybe then i i'm trained enough to to speak uh all all uh, of them or with you all of them i have everyone's 
full names and contact deets as well as a result of them registering with us. So we can mm -hmm. send them a copy of their wraps if they haven't kept them and let them know when the conference is and that sort of thing. Yeah. This is on meditation. Breathing presence, quiet mind, hearing silence, nothing child, humps of space and in between minds. Feel, uh, and I, I out of uh, of out of the rhyme. I'm sorry. Oh, that's so beautiful. How can I do this? Humps of space and between mind felt calm and true lily hums of space and in between mind feels calm and truly lean clinging knots of gone hope invisible memories feeling dope wisps of darkness turned to light brain is calming stop the fight wow <laughs> I love I love you all. <laughs> we, we should have a big rap of a band, Dharma rap of band. <laughs> a rap amazing. choir. Yeah. <laughs> well, maybe then we also have chopsticks and uh, waste paper basket basket <laughs> as drums. <laughs> Cancer, not much fun. Cancer can be done. Don't have to battle, can just dance. But they have for everyone, for every chance to bring light to everyone. It's cool. Yes. The fourth is with you. <laughs> Always. Sorry, I'm such a nerd. I'm a science fiction fan. But the fourth is really with you. Um, oh, we are also, uh, no, it's too long, maybe, uh, is it, <clears throat> sorry, is it possible for, for finish, finishing this session, um, that, uh, well, I finish it with one wrap again, is that all Sounds right? Sounds great, yeah, that sounds really great. Yeah because uh, it's already 12, yeah, 12 something, uh, or I don't know what it is uh, at you, uh, seven something. Um, let's laugh together. Let's have fun. Let's change the world. How should it be done? Let's focus the mind and think for the good. And let's take action when we could. And yes, we can. Let's speak out. Let's raise our voice. Let's do it with kindness, but also with noise. The world shall hear, but with compassion. And the change should not stop after this session. Let's change the world. Thank you, Pamela, for protecting. You're most welcome. <laughs> Thank you so much, Champala. That was really great. That was really fun. I think it was really perfect, actually. This is probably why at conferences and things like that, you get put at the end, because it's a really great way to finish the day. And we all go off to our little worlds or our little hotel rooms if we're away for a conference. And we just feel happier about it. And we don't feel so sort of like worn down by the day's uh, journey. I think that was a really great way to finish the day. So I'm going to stop the recording now. And then if people want to hang around and just chat for a few minutes after that, then we can do so. But thank you everyone for attending. Thank you, Jampala, for your wisdom and your contribution to the Buddhist Winter School. Tomorrow we have another um, 
set of things that are fun. So if you want to come along. Um, yep, thank you everyone. Thank you very much. And the recording of this will be on YouTube. So you can catch up with it there if you missed some parts. Thanks again. Thank you.